namin Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen.
covers the state population of the same species. For example, different varieties of fungi, wheat and rice. Three, ecosystem diversity. It refers to the different biomes, which is called the world's major communities, which are characterized by adaptation of organisms in a particular environment, desert, marine, grassland, and tropical rainforest are examples of biomes. The three levels work together to create the complexity of life on Earth. Do you know how important biodiversity is? Let's find out. Organisms are part of biodiversity and may be economically and ecologically valuable. Their products are sources of food, medicine, clothing, shelter, and energy. The air you breathe, the water you drink, and the food you eat all rely on biodiversity. These organisms are also important in maintaining balance in the ecosystem as they performing their specific role. Some species maintain the quality of natural bodies of water. Some prevent soil erosion and floods, cycles minerals in the soil, and absorb pollutants. Others feed on insects and pests, which could control the population of organisms in a certain environment that's making the ecosystem balanced and stable. Biodiversity is very important because it sustains the flow of energy through a food web on Earth. Every species is linked with a multitude of others in an ecosystem. They are interconnected. They depend on one another. All animals are part of food web that include plants and animals of other species. All living things need energy. Energy flows in the ecosystem. Food web and food change show the flow of energy. The ultimate source of energy is the sun. Producers like plants and algae use photosynthesis to convert sunlight to energy. The amount of energy at each tropic level decreases as it moves through an ecosystem. As little as 10% of the energy at any tropic level is transferred to the next level. The rest is lost largely through metabolic processes at heat. Energy moves light. The cycle of energy is based on the flow of energy through different tropic levels in an ecosystem. Our ecosystem is maintained by the cycling energy and nutrients obtained from different external sources. At the first tropic level, primary producers use solar energy to produce organic material through photosynthesis. The herbivores or a plant eater animal like grasshopper at the second tropic level use the plant food which gives them energy. A large part of this energy is used up for the most metabolic function of this animal, such as breathing, digesting food, supporting growth of tissues, maintaining blood circulation, and body temperature. The carnivores are meat-eater animals such as frog, at the next tropic level, feed on the herbivores and derive energy for this, their sustenance and growth. If large predators
Creator are present, such as snakes and eagles. They represent still higher trophic levels, and they feed on carnivores, carnivores to get energy. Thus, different plants and animals species are linked to one another through food chains. The composer, which includes bacteria, fungi, mold, worms, and insects, break down waste and dead organisms and return the nutrients to the soil, which is then taken up by the producer. Energy is not recycled during the composition, but it is released. What will happen if an organism is removed from the ecosystem? Since all species have a role to play, when one is eliminated, the ecosystem will suffer. Minor disruptions in a particular ecosystem tend to lead to changes that eventually restore the system. But large disturbances of living populations of their environment may result in irreversible changes. Maintaining diversity increases the likelihood that some varieties will have characteristics suitable for survival under changed conditions. What are the basic needs of an organism? Organisms have basic needs, just like humans. They need air, water, temperature, atmospheric pressure, light, and nutrients. This abiotic environmental factor sustains their life. So, what will happen if they do not meet their needs? Organisms can survive only in environments in which their needs can be met. Have you ever wondered why some animals are brightly colored while others blend into their surroundings? Why do blowfish, pups, cats, and why do frogs and mice hibernate? These are all adaptations that animals make based on their environment and needs. Adaptation refers to the physical or behavioral characteristics of an organism that helps them to survive better in the surrounding environment. There are two types. One is the structural adaptation. It refers to the physical characteristics of an organism that help them to survive in their ecosystem, like the bill on a beard or the fur on a bear. Two is behavioral adaptation. It is an action animals do to survive in their ecosystem. For example, bird calls and migration. Adaptation for survival. All organisms have their own way of adaptation that helps them survive and thrive. It is the result of evolution in which species undergo changing changes over a long period of time. Adaptation usually happens when a gene mutates or changes by accident. Some mutations can help organisms to survive better than those species without mutation. For example, a newly born bird has a long beak compared with the other newly born birds. A bird with a longer beak has greater opportunity to catch more food. Therefore, it lives longer and breeds more. Did you know that there are body parts that help animals to survive? A. The shape of bird's beak helps them to procure food from their surroundings. The number of fingers help them to feed themselves. Color of the fur and skin help them to protect themselves from fast changing weather conditions. They change the color
they have tigers lurk shadowy jungles. Their strikes camouflage them in the shadows cast by tall trees and branches, making them almost invisible to unsuspecting prey. Another example is the octopus. When they can outsmart a bigger animal, they quickly change their colors to blend into their surroundings. The seraphian camouflage can make octopuses virtually disappear by looking like rats, corals, or even other sea animals. The thickness or thinness of the body covering and other Derivatives protect themselves in case of danger. Example, African spiny mice. They have tiny bodies and thin skin. Because of that, they seem like the perfect prey for desert animals. But the thinness of their skin is actually an effective adaptation that allows the mice almost immediately. While other mice may die from injuries after a bout with a sack or all, African spiny mice heal much more quickly than any other mammal. They are able to regenerate skin tissue itself, their follicles, and scar rather than replace it with scar tissue. Also, some animals release toxins to survive, like the pepper fish, also known as blowfish. They are easy targets for predators. They are slow and easy to spot in the ocean. However, if a predator gets too close, the pepper fish can ingest water and air quickly, making them several times larger than their normal size. And if the newly pepper fish doesn't scare a predator away, the pepper fish poison will do the job. It releases petrodoxin, which makes them sick bad and kill a larger fish. To humans, Which is full of 
weather. Animals who need to be safe from cold weather and would treat them to death. During very cold weather, weather conditions, their heart rate decreases and their blood circulation slows down. Before mammals hibernate, they eat a lot of food. They go into caves, underground burrows, or some other shelter. Example, mouse and squirrel. They sleep for a long time until their body temperature becomes warm again. When the mouse is hibernating, it looks like a tiny ball. But did you know that wood scraps can actually decrease their blood during cold season? Wood scraps are the only fronts found in north of the Arctic Circle and thanks to an anti freeze like chemical in their blood, they can stop their heart and form ice crystals inside their body. They then awaken from this hibernation state when spring arrives. Adaptations to catch prey. Not every animal needs to adapt to steer clear of predators. Some animals, especially apex predators, adapt in order to hide from their prey before it is striking. Others have developed the ability to survive eating toxic animals to stay alive. Example, king snakes. They are known as kings because they eat other snakes. Sometimes, these snakes include highly venomous snakes like rattlesnake and cotton mouth. One bite from this snake would kill another predator. However, king snakes, which are non venomous have developed an immunity or tolerate to snake venom. This enables king snakes to eat prey that other predators can, which is beneficial in a sparsely populated habitat. Adaptations to pack on teeth. The highest priority of every animal is to stay alive long enough to reproduce and pass on their teeth. Animals that have adapted to their environment are more likely to mate and reproduce, which perpetuates their species. These animals have a special way of attracting a mate and ensuring that their babies stay alive. Example, competition for mates with desirable traits is first among the birds of paradise. This colorful, strangely decorated male bird learn to perform mating dances at a young age. Female birds, far more plainly colored, colored to blend in with their surroundings, must decide which male has the best trait for her offspring. The best dancer wins the ability to pass on their teeth. Another example is spiders. The spiders lay hundreds of eggs at a time. With some of their spider leaves hatching earlier than others. In those cases, the baby spiders grow at different rates, resulting in a spider cannibalism from the older babies toward the younger ones. Fewer spiders are able to reproduce if they are eaten as babies. Black widow eggs are unique in that they hatch and develop at almost the same time, making it less likely for them to cannibalize any younger siblings. Plants also have the ability to survive. However, this adaptation might make it very difficult for the plant to survive in a different place. This explains why certain plants are found in one area but not in another. For example, 
water. The leaves have thick, waxy skin, which help them retain water for a long time. Tendril. It's a long, thin, and coloring structure attached to the plant for support and climbing. Top root. Attached to the root for support in the shallow soil. Floating leaves. There are floating plants that are found in water bodies. They have floating leaves in which chlorophyll is restricted only on the top surface like water leaves. So, which animal will survive? Animals that are better adapted to their environment have a bigger chance to survive and breed. On the contrary, animals that are not well adapted to an environment may not survive. Biodiversity is essential to the sustainability of an ecosystem. It contributes to the environmental stability. What is stability? Stability is the resilience to withstand changes that may occur in the environment. There are many changes that occur in the environment which may be a result of natural or human activity. Ecosystem stability is not a static property but, but a dynamic balance which characterizes two types, resistance and resilience. Resistance can measure how much an ecosystem resists change. The ecosystem will remain stable despite disturbances changes. Resilience measures how quickly the ecosystem recovers from disturbance or resisting damage. It can immediately return to a steady state or balanced ecosystem. Resilience is the capability to respond. How does biodiversity affect stability? All life forms are important in the ecosystem. No matter how small or big the organisms are, they have their specific role in the ecosystem. The more diverse the ecosystem, the more resilient and stable it becomes. Because every species has its own way in making the ecosystem stable. When a species is lost, it affects the bond in the way of web of life. As I mentioned earlier, our populations of living things are interconnected. When the population of animals, plants, or insects increase or decrease, other populations of living things are also affected. For example, when shrubs and brushy areas are removed from an ecosystem, the rabbit population will likely go down. The reduced rabbit population will lower predator populations, such as the eagles, the snakes, cactus, that use the rabbit as a food source. Here is another example. What would happen if we cut trees in the forest? Yes, the cavity nesting animals, such as the birds, owls, squirrels, and woodpeckers, have very little if any, shelter available. The number of animals of this type would be reduced. So, insect population could increase because a fewer insects eating birds and trees and other plants could be negatively affected. As a result, the whole ecosystem is affected. That with high biodiversity are more stable. Where does the stability of the ecosystem depends on? The stability of the ecosystem depends on the different biodiversity.
prebiotic and abiotic factors that influence the capacity of the ecosystem to become restable. For instance, plant diversity will not be able to survive without the presence of sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide as raw materials for photosynthesis. Therefore, more pathways for energy and matter, more instability. So what should we do to maintain the stability of the ecosystem? Most resources are non-renewable, such as coal, fossil fuel, and natural gas. Thus, non-renewable resources must be used prudently and wisely. Two, biodiversity should be maintained by protecting the ecosystem. Three, the size of the consumer population must be controlled due to the limited availability of materials and food resources. There should be no overgrazing and overuse of the resources. Consume only enough materials and food needed. Every citizen is part of our nature. We are not masters but stewards in such a way that we shall protect, preserve, and conserve nature for the enjoyment of the present and future generations. We are almost done with our learning journey today. To sum up, complete the sentence by arranging the jumbled letters to form the missing word. I will give you five seconds to see in your answer in the comment box. Ready? Let's start. Number one. Ebon is direct. It's significant to us because it sustains the flow of energy through food web on Earth. Did you get it right? It's biodiversity. Two, the cycle of greening is based on the flow of energy through different trophic levels in the ecosystem. All right, the answer is energy. Three, all organisms have their own way of to function that helps them survive and thrive. Correct. Adaptation is the right answer. Four. Animals change the color of their skin to deceive their enemies by blending with their environment known as pamuklochea. Very good. The answer is camouflage. Five, animals that are better adapted to their environment have a bigger chance to revocate and breed. Let's see if you are correct. If survive. Number six, biodiversity is essential to the Sustainability of an ecosystem. The answer is sustainability, and you are correct. Seven. Biodiversity contributes to environmental stability. Good. The answer is stability. A. Sunserites can measure how much an ecosystem receives change. The answer is resistance. Nine. Irish Kilin measures how quickly the ecosystem recovers from disturbance or resisting change. You are correct. It's resilient. Last number. We are not masters, but to our pet of nature, we 
shall protect, preserve, and conserve nature. The answer is, is the word. Brilliant. You are all amazing. To further improve your skills about the lesson, you may answer the activities in your module on pages 34 to 37. If you have questions or you want to clarify something about what has been discussed, you are free to DM your concerns in the comment box. I will answer them as much as I can. A minute will be given to you to type or key in your questions, and our teacher moderator will be gathering them. Your one minute is starts now. The more diverse the ecosystem is, the more resilient 